I have a bone to pick with electronic guards. Not because of their shady business practices and shutting down great studios. That stuff's terrible, but my issue is that this behemoth of a game publisher has completely forgotten about all of the games that helped to make them a household name. I'm talking about the Strike series, Wing Commander, and Road Rash. Big names that we haven't heard from in nearly 20 years. But while Electronic Arts may not be interested in revisiting Road Rash, I'm excited to see that other companies are willing to step up and fill that void. At least I was before playing Road Rage by Maximum Games. This is gonna be a rough review. Sometimes you know you're gonna hate a game right from the opening cinema. That's the case with Road Rage, a miserable racing game that starts bad and somehow seems to get worse as it goes along. The introduction tells us that when the bottom 95% rose up against the powerful, an authoritarian government decided to build walls and segregate the districts. The result, obviously, is a bunch of biker gangs taking over and terrorizing Subtroit. This sets up a gritty environment where you not only speed around the city with reckless abandon, but are actually encouraged to knock your opponents off their bikes with baseball bats and hockey sticks. Toss in a bunch of diverse race types, a few different weapons, and a colorful cast of characters, and you have a recipe for an exciting little racing game. But this, I'm sorry to say, is not an exciting little racing game. This is one of the worst games I've played this year. Since I can already tell that this is going to go negative in a hurry, let's start out with a few things I actually like about Road Rage. For starters, it reminds me of Road Rash, a series I have fond memories of. There are also quite a few different types of events, including checkpoint races, takedown wars, and elimination circuits. And don't forget about the open world, which is reasonably sized and full of diverse looking districts. Now if it sounds like I'm struggling to come up with something nice to say, it's because I am. I'm not gonna mince words here, this game is garbage. It looks like a PlayStation 2 game, handles like an out of control boulder, and performs like it was released a year before it was ready to ship. Road Rage gets everything wrong, even a few of the nice things I said about it a moment ago. It's almost a master class in what not to do when making an open world racing game. But let's get specific, because there's actually a lot we can take away from a game like Road Rage. Remember when I said that it handled like an out of control boulder? Well, I'm gonna take that back, because an out of control boulder still adheres to the laws of gravity. This is the type of racing game where hitting a curb or obstacle will shoot you straight up into the air like you're made out of helium. What happens when you take a corner or come too close to a car almost seems random, and there was never a moment where I felt in control of my bike. The weird gravity also affects the city, especially when it comes to the other people on the street. The issue isn't that there are other cars driving around, but rather that they're literally falling from the sky as you race from one checkpoint to the next. These cars also have a bad habit of blowing up for no reason and flying through the air like a projectile. It's a chaotic mess that's every bit as unpredictable as it is frustrating. Nothing in this game runs like it's supposed to. The problem is that this unpredictability ends up having a major impact on the events. There are more than 90 main events and side missions, most of which you'll win by a mile in your first attempt. But when the game decides to get tough, it suddenly becomes brutal. A lot of this can be blamed on the anti-gravity physics and the loose handling, but sometimes it's just because the game cheats. You can buy new bikes and upgrade the different parts, but none of that is going to keep you safe from a falling car. And just when you think it can't possibly get any worse, along comes that colorful cast of characters. This is a game about biker gangs, so you get the usual group of thugs and lowlifes. The problem is that instead of sounding tough and mean, the acting comes across like a middle school performance of Grand Theft Auto. I could spend days going over every terrible performance, but just listen to this. Smart move, confiscating the whole airport. It was abandoned after the great riots. Bars, restaurants, five-star hotels, and even a swimming pool. Nice place you've got here. A man needs to have a place of his own to enjoy the small pleasures of life. Six Russian bikini models sunbathing at your private swimming pool can hardly be called small pleasures of life. Must be good to be your own boss. You're wrong about that. I only said I'm the most powerful man in town. Not that I have no one to answer to. The world is bigger than just Ashen. I'm caged like everyone else in the city. The only difference is that I've got more money and men working for me. 
And yes, that also includes girls. Yeah, whatever. I'm here to relieve you from some of those problems. You have a new list of targets for me? It's not that I want these people to be taken out, but it needs to be done. Here's the list for today. When you come back, meet me at the pool. Probably the biggest sin is that the combat never felt natural. This is a game based around smacking people in the face with a hockey stick. So the fact that there's no skill beyond hammering the buttons is a little disappointing. I also hate the way you lock onto the opponent and go into cruise control. This should be the way to let you focus on taking down the other bikers, but instead it's the leading cause of motorcycle accidents and road rage. This game's a mess. As somebody who's been craving a new Road Rash game for nearly 20 years, Road Rage just doesn't make the cut. This is a poorly executed motorcycle racing game that gets almost everything wrong. It's ugly, has horrible handling, sounds awful, and crashes all the time. The best thing I can say is that it has a diverse roster of events, but even those feel like they were lifted out of better open world games. Road Rage is easily the worst racing game of the year. Hey, thanks for watching our review. So here's the question of the day. What classic electronic arts game deserves a reboot? Now, look, I know that EA is a shitty company and everybody hates them, but they've also made a lot of great games in the past. And really, it doesn't even need to be EA that reboots these franchises. I'm just curious to hear your thoughts on old EA games, so leave a comment below. We're at the end of a long week that gave us five episodes of 23 endings, the early years, and two reviews. We'll be back next week with more endings and more reviews, plus maybe a little something extra. What will it be? Find out when you click that subscribe button. Until then.